coil is the uh, Mallory Promaster ignition coil that uh, Gray like to use to charge his caps, and this one gets up to about 55,000 volts uh, normally, and that's without the CDI, so with the CDI it's going to be a little bit higher voltage. Um, I have this basically hooked up exactly how I've posted any of the schematics. I do get a burst in there where the coil is getting charged from it. So basically, just by doing this, there is a way to make this to charge this coil and either repel another coil or a magnet um, with this exact setup and so I'll let you hear it just so you can hear that and see that there is something uh, going on here okay I'm gonna hook up this relay battery I'm gonna turn on the variac and so what you're going to hear is, let's see, you hear that? Okay, and I'll show you in just a second. See right there, it did it. And there's sparks going over to, this, to the grids. You know, that's a low voltage spark right there, uh, or the spark in the, in the rods. When the diode shuts off, it jumps over to the grids there. But what I'm looking for is that one right there. So that's the uh, that's the effect that I'm looking for. Right there. And so this setup definitely does it. Um, I just gotta use uh, bigger discharges. And so you see that, that burst in there is actually a see the color of it, it's pretty interesting. It's it's like a whitish green color. right there but it does do it and as it pops with that burst right there that's when the coil fires right there So, anyway, pretty interesting. So you can see a burst inside there. Right there. So you got that plasma, that's the basic plasma ignition burst at, at the gap. And then you can see the sparks inside there going to the, to the grids. Right there. So I'm sure a lot of it has to do with matching components and doing all this kind of stuff. But this is the effect. So that's it. Just have to go to one step by step. And it's definitely different, and different color from the plasma burst at the gap. The diode shuts off, you get the spark coming to the high voltage, but that discharge right there, that greenish one, that's it. interesting color really interesting basically when you have output from the grid the grid goes into the inductive load and out of the load to a positive on the cap, negative on the cap, back to common ground. And for example, this one is the ignition coil. And every time I was getting that, that event, what happens is um, this cap is getting charged because as the, the stuff is coming out of the grid, it's jumping across, going through here, and it's charging this cap up. As it charges this cap up, it needs to be at a certain voltage to be able to have a significant, to basically act as a, um, a kind of like a low voltage cap on the uh, plasma ignition system and that jumps backwards through the coil and butts head with what's leaving the grid and those two things colliding right there is what charges the coil and so I'll show you that right here um, okay, got all their stuff going on right there okay
is happening at 225 volts in this scenario. So here's the cap voltage. Right there. Every time it gets up, boom. Okay, so that's the voltage on the cap. That's a 250 volt range. So it's pinging the needle at about maybe, I don't know, 260 or so. But once that cap gets up there, it's enough for it to jump backwards. The positive potential is going to be sitting at the, um, well, the positive potential of that cap is sitting at the grids right here. And so as the uh, voltage gets up high enough, what happens is that as, as it jumps from uh, the, uh, the high voltage rod to the grid, that one jumps backwards and smacks into it and, go, and seeks its own ground, probably through the low voltage rod and then back to common ground. So right there, every time it happens, it's right there. You can see that that cap does get charged off the grids. And every time it pumps, it's that's that's where it's coming from. Right there, that's that uh, 4,000 volt, two microfarad um, capacitor. So that's absolutely what's what's pulsing that coil right there. Anyway, just wanted to show that right there. There, there it is. Boom, right there. So here's how the gray tube works. Basically, you have a battery right here. And this is just the uh, way Aromas uh, modified the Emotep oscillator. 2N2222 does not need anything connected to the base. It will um, trigger this 3055 that turns this primary on the ignition coil off and on. And the output can go through a diode through a, um, a little choke here, a resonant charge choke, whatever you want to call it, and that will charge up this uh, high voltage capacitor. This high voltage capacitor on the front side of the gray circuit connected to the high voltage rod. 4000 volts, 2 microfarads is just what the caps are that I happen to have. And what happens is as this is charging, it's charging this cap directly. Well, when this S1 switch is open, what happens is it charges this and from the high voltage rod it jumps the gap so basically the ignition coil is jumping the gap from the high voltage rod to the grids through this coil charging this up right here and so the gap is essentially acting as a diode so each burst coming over here is charge is going through the coil charging it a little bit and as the coil discharges it will also send that pulse to the caps so you're getting like two pulses for the price of one and so anyway this ignition coil charges this and charges this way the exact same time. So when these caps are charged, what happens is when you close S1 through a commutator or whatever, this triggers the event. As soon as you close S1, this capacitor discharges through this coil, smashes into the high voltage potential of ca capacitor 1, positive potential, and the only place for it to go to ground is basically this diode right here. Uh, backwards through the diode and this can be a capacitor or battery but if you use a battery it might explode it so I don't know I think a capacitor is safer when this diode is here it shuts off and it causes this to discharge even quicker so anyway you get the uh, uh, plasma ignition system burst effect but it happens in this area up here at the high voltage rod and it's a greenish white color and I don't believe that the copper is the source of the green as far as I know because I get a white, pure white plasma burst here, that's copper rods, and then I get the charging from the ignition coil from the high voltage rod to the grids here, which is like a blue spark. And so it's distinctly different, very, very green, and anyway, that's the event, and it does charge this coil. And in my video, um, it didn't push the magnet. That's because the way I had it wired was that the positive was on this side of the coil, which north would have been here. And so it was actually when C2 was discharging, it was pulling the magnet towards it. And that was what was rocking the entire bicycle wheel. So anyway, that's, that's how the circuit works.